Given a single color image as input, our approach regresses a high quality 3D face reconstruction. The regress parameters define the skin reflectance, dense surface geometry, and incident illumination. All channels are jointly estimated at over 250 Hz. Given a single color image as input, our approach first regresses a meaningful latent space face representation. We represent faces based on a novel multi-level face model that combines the advantages of a parametric model for regularization with the out-of-subspace generalization of a learned optimal corrective space. The output of our face model is per vertex shape and reflectance at multiple levels. Renderings are obtained based on differentiable image formation. Our network is trained in a self-supervised fashion without requiring dense ground truth. Only sparse 2D landmark detections are required. Our approach obtains high-quality reconstruction results. The learned optimal corrective space enables us to go far beyond the span of the underlying parametric 3D face model. We obtain high-quality reconstructions even for characteristic facial features, such as noses, lips, and eyelids. Our corrective reflectance space learns to better represent facial hair, such as beards. Even facial makeup is learned by our approach. This not only lets us reconstruct the facial features, but in addition leads to a more robust reconstruction of the facial geometry. Next, we compare the reconstruction quality of our base level with our final reconstructions that contain the learned geometry and reflectance correctives. The final geometry better captures person-specific idiosyncrasies, since our learned geometry correctives allow us to go beyond the low-dimensional subspace of the underlying face model. In addition, our corrective space robustly handles facial hair. Our approach outperforms Tawari et al. While their approach suffers from shrinking artifacts, the learned corrective space in combination with our novel sliding contour alignment term leads to much higher quality. While the approaches of Richardson et al. and Sela et al. obtain impressive results for many cases, our approach better handles challenging scenarios, for example, occlusions by facial hair. In addition, we jointly regress colored surface reflectance and incident illumination. In contrast to the optimization-based technique of Booth et al., our approach regresses surface reflectance and incident illumination. In addition, we obtain higher quality surface geometry due to our learned optimal corrective space. Even though our approach is focused on face reconstruction from a single molecular image, it obtains temporarily stable results even on video sequences. We compare to the high-quality monocular optimization-based reconstruction approach of Garrido et al. Our approach obtains similar quality while better capturing medium-level details and is orders of magnitude faster. Please note the better aligning nose and lips. When compared to optimization-based approaches, our approach is much faster and obtains similar or better quality. We also evaluated our approach quantitatively on 180 meshes of the face warehouse dataset. For details, please refer to the paper. In addition, we evaluated our approach on a challenging video sequence with a characteristic face and strong expressions. We obtained quantitatively better reconstructions. While we obtained compelling results in many challenging cases, our approach might bake external occluders into the learned corrective space. Here are more results on challenging videos downloaded from the internet.
Thank you for watching.